Welcome back everyone, my name is Laszlo Meal and today we're playing The Elder Scrolls 6 Poker Night. So The Elder Scrolls Legends, an upcoming Bethesda game, is going to be a card game, something like Hearthstone. And if you played Hearthstone, then you know what I'm talking about. And I kind of, I'm guessing that um, this is Bethesda trying to be a serious contender to Blizzard's Hearthstone. And um, judging by the game so far and my experience with it, even though I am not playing these kind of games, I have 10 minutes in Hearthstone, uh, this could actually be a serious competitor to... Blizzard's Hearthstone, but um, we'll wait for the game to come out and we're going to see. But um, anyway, today we're playing a closed beta version of this game, so if you want to apply for beta, I'm going to leave you a link down below, so go check it out. But um, today this is going to be like a first impression video, I'm going to play one match, we're going to see what the game has to offer, and if you want to see more, then I'll just go and uh, play more, even though I don't play these kind of games. But um, anyway, this is your character, so once you start Start, you can choose your um, profile picture from these uh, races, for example, High Elf, then you choose from these four pictures. And um, once you're done with that, you have the title. So you earn the title by doing certain things. For example, the untouchable is win a game without taking damage. And you have a bunch of others you can choose from. I'm not sure if you can actually unlock all of them in beta. But so when a game comes out, you can just go and um, do that. So again, the game... it has a campaign you can go and play, um, it has a versus, it has the arena, you can go and uh, try yourself in, and of course it has the multiplayer, which I am not going to play right now, because this is, of course, closed beta, and um, these are all the friends I have, and um, there's one thing that bothers me so much, even though this is closed beta, they include it in-game purchases, for example, you can buy packs, arena tickets, but uh, I'm guessing you need arena tickets to play in the arena or something like that, but um, so for example, you can buy 60 packs for $69.99, and I'm not sure why they included this in the closed beta, but um, great job, and um, attention, you're about to spend real money, holy shit, I would if I had any, but um, so, what are we going to do now? We're going to play this game a bit. I'm going to give you my honest opinion about it. So, so as soon as this old guy stops talking, oh yeah. So this is the story itself. This is a versus battle. This is practice, for example. This is solo arena, and this is versus arena. So you have to uh, complete a solo arena to unlock this mode. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue with the story. I'm actually on Act Two right now, and we're going to. Um, just go and um, check it out. So, let's hear. A good storm makes the seafaring life interesting. How about the pirates? No, they're right bastards. Treat an honest smuggler like a common merchant. There's no honor among scoundrels. So, I'm guessing we're going to fight some pirates, and um, great. So. Once you acquired a new deck, I can actually choose a deck that I'm going to play with. So I'm going to go and um, try the Black Marsh Smugglers, even though I'm playing with them for the first time, but um, it's going to be for the sake of the video. Okay, so when it comes to the match itself, you have Magicka, and Magicka means which card can you play. So I'm going second here, and I have the Elixir of Magicka, which is going to give me one Magicka, so I'm going to play it like this, and I can actually play this card right here. So, for example, with every new turn, you get more Magicka, so that means you can actually play more cards or stronger cards, and um, you have to deplete your enemy's health, and you have to guard your own health, and um, you see these little things up here? Uh, basically, every time they, like, uh, wound you or something like that, and it goes to here, you get additional one card, and you draw one card with every round. So, yeah, let's go play Guild Recruits right here. So, you have, like, two sides you can play on. So, let's see. This is a lethal one, so destroy any creature uh, with this damage. So, I'm going to um, go here, and I actually can't uh, play... Um, you can't attack if you just place the card, you have to wait for the entire round to attack with that creature. So we're going to wait a bit, see what um, he's going to do. Just a tiny bit, so he played this guy, and um, he has one defense and three attack. And he's going to wound me, holy shit. So, I'm going to go to this side right here, and you see this guy? 
Thorn Histomage and you gain one max Magicka when I play him, but I can't play him right now. So what I'm going to do, boom, do this, gain one more Magicka point, I'm going to play this Imperial Armor on this guy so he doesn't kill me. And what I can do is attack this guy, there we go. So every time you attack, for example, if he has three, um, three attack, then he's going to wound you for three um, defense, but um, cool. Let's uh, see what they're going to do. They're going to attack me, of course. And I'm going to get Prophecy. Once you get Prophecy card, you can attack straight away. So. This guy is going to stay here like this. And enemies must attack this card. So you got to pay attention when you do that. Okay, so what, what I can do is uh, actually attack him for one damage. There we go. And since they have to go... And attack this card. I'm also going to um, activate my magic. I have four, and I can go either play this guy like this, or, or, I can actually go and um, play this guy right here. So we're going to do that, and what I'm going to do is attack her. Boom, and she's going to die. Now this card has to attack me. He's going to attack me. He's going to. Attack me with that, okay. He's going to destroy himself as well, so that's cool. He lost the card. Okay, let's see what do I have. So I need 7 Magicka to get this guy. Holy shit, but you can see he has 8 attack and 8 defense. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to put this card here, and what I'm going to do is quickly attack him. Boom, he's going to die straight away because I have poison on my blade. I'm going to attack him right here. There we go. Now we're going to go and um, give him the chance to defend himself. Of course, he can do this and attack me. Great. I used to be an adventurer like you. And then I took an arrow to the knee. Haha. <laughs> there we go. So you see he has 28, I have 18, so we have to do something about it. So what I'm going to do now do is play him one, here. You will lose. I'm actually going to play her here. There this we one go. Give tasty. lethal to um, this guy. There we go, he has lethal, I'm going to attack him. Boom, he's going to sacrifice himself and die. Bye -bye. Meanwhile, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack him. There we go. Now he's in 23, and um, you see when every time this rune uh, actually disappears, I gain one more card, so great. I used to be an adventurer like you. Oh, damn, all those easter eggs today. This is insane, guys. Ooh. Damn, he's going to get one attack. Holy shit. Okay. So I have 16, I can use charge here, I can attack straight away. So what I'm going to do is actually give all enemy creatures in this lane minus one. So I'm going to do exactly that. He's going to disappear. I'm going to go no trouble at all. attack this guy right here. I'm going to attack him. Custom attack him. There we go, 17. And he's going to drop to 11. So also have to be careful. You kind of need to think when you're going to attack something because um, if he has more cards, here more he has more chance to actually defeat you. So always pay attention. All right, let's see. Damn this guy. So he's going to activate one more. He's going to drop down, and he's going to switch. Okay. Diedrich Dagger, oh, I got that. Let's see, I can basically kill him right now, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this, and guess what? I can charge straight away, so I'm going to do just that. He's going to go have seven. Prophecy, holy shit! He's going to play straight away. I'm gonna attack him with this. So once you have Prophecy, you can just play that card, but it's not going to be useful because I defeated the pirates. There we go. This was a nice round, man. This was an amazing, amazing round. So yes, victory. I'm almost going to be level 6. Alright, so win 3 games with this deck. I need to win 2 more and get 40 gold coins.
Now, game rewards. At the end, you get certain game rewards. For example, we're going to get some gold coins here, and we're going to get some endurance cards. So, ooh, look at this guy. Swamp Levithian, suppress, silence a creature. Oh, this is very useful. But I'm going to take this. There we go. We get three cards for our deck. This is amazing. Holy shit. Okay. So this is not a choose. This is basically like you get three cards. Chapter 10. Unwelcome intrusion. Let's no see. no sign of Lana. You think the crash killed them all? Maybe. Or maybe it was the locals. Holy shit, we have some locals. Okay guys, so this is going to be my first look of the game itself. If you want to see more of the legends, then don't forget to actually just um, tell me down below in the comments. And um, look, so far, even though I don't play these kind of games, I am definitely enjoying this game. And I'm not saying this because I got the beta, I'm not obligated to actually advertise the game. So, um... Again, if you want to apply for beta, I'm going to leave you a link down below, so check it out. And um, again, if you want to see me playing some more, then uh, comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more Bethesda content. This is Last No Meal signing out. Don't forget to do all of that. And don't forget to check out Sugar Bomb, made by gamers for gamers. Last No Meal signing out, and stay classy, everyone. Bye-bye.